What up guys, my name is Carl and today I'm going to be talking about Zone 414. Zone 414. I watched this on um, Netflix. Uh, I was curious, I read the synopsis, is about Android. There is a, a, a Zone 414, is uh, only for the Android to live or uh, you know artificial intelligence and this is what the story is about. Well, not the story, but it is it takes place in Zone 414, but it's about, you know, he was hired. Our uh, main character is hired to find the uh, the creator uh, daughter who happened to go into zone four fourteen. That is the story, the premises. So, so let's talk about what I did like about this movie. I like the I like the concept of you know a, a zone that's strictly for you know Android AI artificial intelligence to sort of live to thrive to live and to operate. Really interesting. Uh, I like the idea of you know a main character is hired to go find the uh, the creator's daughter. Interesting. I like that. It's like you know I'm really I'm willing to buy that. What else? The uh, I like the, uh, the 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 setting of Zone Four Fourteen. I liked it. It remind me of. Uh, Blade Runner, Blade 2049, it remind me of uh, the surrogates, it remind me of uh, 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 Ready Player One, but it remind me a lot, a lot of Blade Runner, uh, so it remind me of that, the, uh, the, the, the setting is very good, I would have like, I like the, uh, the, the, the female, the, the female android, he, she is very, uh, I thought she would, I thought she did a good job of playing that role of being this sort of um, android who sort of give men uh, not sort of not pleasure but a sense of memory, uh, creating memory with with the wealthy men of of their former uh, kind of sort of their fantasy or their former lovers or their former girlfriend or former wife. So I found that her her character was really interesting because she's that's all she's she does for a living is sort of like you know in in a way she's sort of she's not quite a uh, you know prostitute or a work or a work uh, a sex worker but she's sort of you know she created she 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 created these you know, sort of memory for these wealthy men. So almost like creating these memories uh, through these moments with these men. And her character is very really interesting because she she kind of questioned her 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 uh, her existence. She questioned her her you know her her role in this the zone. She questioned the the you know what is to be what is to be what is to be desired. What is to to desire. Because there are a certain moment with this movie where, you know, the man obviously the man that she was, you know, paid to to sort of have the conversation with or to engage the conversation or to create the moment, he doesn't want to see her again. He doesn't want her ever again. And you could tell that she she got mad. Not really mad, but she was she was just shocked that, you know, she, you know, had like not got him but like she she found someone that you know wanted her like that the desire to have her but he doesn't and you can tell that that she's she realized that she's just an android and you know the 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 real the, the guy that you know she had interaction wanted one in a real a real woman and uh, he cherished the moment enough to don't want to see her again because he cared about those moments that he he had with her. So very, very, very. That's, I thought that was a very, very moving moment, very unique. So let's talk about Guy Pierce. I thought he did an okay job. I thought he didn't do good or bad. I just he did it okay. He just. I feel like he he has some history. He has some struggle. He's you know he he has some uh, history, and he did an all right job of you know conveying that characters. Um, what else? I, there are some characters in here. I I thought they were good, but not good enough. Like Roel, the uh, the the house that they 
this house that they uh, they capture or you know m you know mutilate all these android or destroy android i would say i thought he was and the, these characters are really interesting unique in their own way but they're just not enough so let's talk about what i don't like about this movie guys is the score is the, the, the score here is a little bit too much in this movie I don't know about you, but I don't like over overuse of scores. You gotta know when to use the score, the musical score, when it is appropriate. Okay, uh, the script here is not deep. It's not well done. You don't the conversation that they have is so it's so not boring, but it's just it doesn't have depths. It doesn't have nuances. It doesn't have tonality. It doesn't have uh, tone behind the conversation there is there the there, there isn't a character behind the voices so uh what else uh the script is not that great uh what else the um this the story is just not well developed it's just not it's just you can tell that's not well, well developed our main guy he's not you, you just don't know where he's coming from you just don't know you don't know his backstory his history what's going on with his life was he married did he have kids uh, all we know he was a police officer but that was it it just it doesn't give us you know, it, we are not, we don't sympathize for him. You know, we don't care for him. We don't know his history. So that really kind of, you know, we don't, we, it, we don't know much about him. We just throw in it in the mix to go with the flow. And sometimes that's hard to really do because you don't know who you're dealing with or you don't know should you care for this character or not. And they, they don't do that here. You don't know absolutely nothing about this character. I feel like you know much about more about the inventor than the main guy. So that's kind of misplaced. I mean, it's good that they, they develop the inventor, but they need to also develop the main guy and the girl and the, 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 the android, the female android. I, you would think that they would develop the characters, all of the, the characters, even though they only have a few moments in the movies. So. What else I did not like? I didn't quite like the ending. It's just, it's, to me, it felt like they're setting up for a sequel. And I don't like it because the movie itself isn't great enough for to even qualify for a second movie or I mean the third movie. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, the, there's not a lot of fight scene here. It's not a shooting here. It's just kind of, it is kind of boring. And it's slow. It's just not enough. It, the, the story doesn't, it, this movie doesn't have dynamic movement. And you know, what I mean by dynamic movement is that where the characters are moving along. They, they do move along in a, this movie, but it just, it doesn't give the mo the, they don't make the movie interesting enough that you care to really watch, you care about the character life, how what they're doing, that their life could be a risk, all this sort of thing. It just doesn't have those, those sort of risks, those obstacles for our main characters. It, it sort of lack. Yes, there are some care obstacle, but the obstacle isn't so obvious it's, or you don't see it. It's just, you know, it's there because he's meeting all these people, you know, that he's just, he's meeting roadblock, but it, it's just, you know, it, it's just that the, the roadblock isn't your know, life threat to our main characters or the, uh, or the female android. So it's just, just just boring you know it's not boring it's just flat it's just undeveloped this movie is so what was the rating i get this movie guys i give it a four out of ten guys again i give it a four out of ten for zone 414 the movie is called four zone 414 and um anyway please like thumbs up share subscribe and browse to my youtube channels i have a lot of content for you guys to check out please do so thank you so much and take care guys bye bye